Hello and welcome back to this edition of Daily Actives brought to you by Bootleg Macro. I am Dustin. We are looking at Apple once again. The only question we have is, is this real? Is this move today in Apple real? It's up 1.46% over five days. It's up 5.25%. It has now at least changed across the six months, which I think is huge. If we look at the signals though, uh, we do not see a go long in the short term, intermediate term or longer term at all. We still see that go short in the intermediate term. We do see a little bit of bullishness on the daily, nothing in the intermediate, nothing in the longer term. We have been bearish for quite a while here. Obviously when we're looking at this move, it is impressive from where we've come from. We still have a falling bear in terms of the sentiment. We are losing our rising bull. We are quite far down in terms of the two day and five day overall daily sentiment. I'd say we're down probably near lows. And if we look at the signals here, what I do notice and I really enjoy as a signal, at least one of the ones that I built is it's around rising valley. And the rising valley gives you an opportunity when things are really, really oversold, like Apple has been recently, gives you an opportunity to buy when things are starting to break out. You can see a coming rising bull. You can see the bull key three, we got four of those. We do still have a lot just in the recent past here of some very bear signals. Obviously, we've got a sell signal in late October. That is not that long ago. If we take a look at the charts. I don't begrudge anybody who thinks that this is a sell the rally kind of opportunity. I think Apple needs to be bullish for the market to generally feel bullish. But right now, it is just a safe play. I mean, it's not losing value significantly. We're looking here at what the chart has been over the past years. I mean, you've been paid to buy Apple except for 2022, where 2022, you essentially went sideways from 2021 until the bottom here and the beginning of 2023. I mean, yeah, you had a high, but you didn't really do much. So now that we see that there's a little bit of a change in trend, you may want to respect the risk. You may want to respect the change in trend, or you could just say, you know what? It's in every single ETF, pretty much every single mutual fund, every single majority of investors own at least a piece just because of its market cap. But the daily sentiment and the indicator right now is not giving us good vibes. We can see that we've hit a high uh, back in June. We've essentially been on a downward slope ever since. We're down at 41% in bullishness. We are below the 15 day moving average while that is also diving. So I do want to kind of just respect and say I'm probably going to step away from Apple at the moment. We're looking at the volume. The volume is breaking out now. You can see the red line, which is 15 day moving average is moving up. That's good to see, but it doesn't look like this is significantly bullish. We look at the volatility. It's not even really breaking out. The volatility of Apple can be incredibly weird because it gets so much, I'm assuming, just daily money pumped into it through just regular, like either uh, like pay, paychecks, you know, like people saving for 401k, people just doing automated saving, investing, things like that. We're looking here at the volatility. It's gotten really odd as of recently. The volatility changed in the middle of October. We've had small hills. We're seeing a little bit of a breakout here in November. The correlation is positive. So that does bode well, at least for the way that the price is moving right now. We'll be very interested to see where it moves after this. The trade range, we're looking, the top of the range is at 184. We're not too far off from there. We're at 179. The bottom is at 165, very reasonable. If we look at the weekly trade range. I'm very curious about this because I do think it's nice that we are near the bottom, or at least we were at a certain point, we got to 168 and now we're bouncing up a little bit. The top is at 200. I doubt we get there, honestly. I bet you we get to like 190, 195, but it does look like at least the way that the market is setting up right now, you could see some something constructive, something very constructive in the market could happen and, and or it could happen and Apple could definitely be part of it. If we look at the weekly, the weekly, we are we're definitely, we've rolled over, uh, we're stuck. We're at the 50% mark. We've essentially gone sideways. Like but Apple can't go so bearish, you know, because the market would collapse to a certain extent. But from here, I mean, when it started to fall, the market did not have a great August. The market has not had, it did not have a great August. It looks like it's essentially uh, balanced out here at the very end of September. We've been going sideways ever since, but things could be better. But tell me what you think in the comments below. Are you long? Are you short? Do you like it? Do you love it? Is this even a good review? And before you go, subscribe to the New High Newsletter. We send you 25 stocks to your inbox every single Sunday. Stocks between $5 and $20 breaking out. Stocks breaking out to one-year highs. Stocks breaking out to all-time highs. It's a great list to get your trading started. I'll talk to you soon.